Welcome to the March edition, the digital edition of the Marine Corps Gazette. I'm Colonel John Keenan, United States Marine Corps retired, the editor of the Gazette. I think you will find a wide array of articles that will interest you and inform you in this month's edition. I would like to particularly note that we have articles on amphibious operations, the future of the infantry fighting vehicle or the expeditionary fighting vehicle. What are we going to do to replace the vehicle that was canceled? And there are two proposals for that in this month's Gazette. In addition to that, we have articles on manpower. We also have two articles on history. Uh, one of them in the paper edition, which you can read, of course, but another one that is in the digital edition, and they both relate to marine aviation. The first is a reminiscence by Colonel Deej Kiley uh, of action that occurred during the Battle of Way. Absolutely fascinating and shows to the lengths that marine aviators will go to support the marine on the ground. And we have another article in the digital edition which recounts Marine Air's exploits in the short action against Libya. No, not with Lieutenant Presley O'Bannon, but recently when we dis dis displaced Colonel Gaddafi. The little known fact is that Marine Air was instrumental in that operation. And speaking of Tripoli, which is in our hymn, the shores of Tripoli, this being March, I would like to remind all of you with a short history lesson of the storied legends of Marines who have been Irish American, or born in Ireland, including Lieutenant Presley O'Bannon, Corporal Mackey, the first winner of the Medal of Honor as a Marine, Sergeant Major Dan Daly, again, a two-time Medal of Honor winner, the first Medal of Honor winner in Vietnam, Corporal Robert O'Malley, who hails from my hometown, New York. To all Marines, I want to just say one thing. Please read the Gazette. Please tell us what you think. And on March 17th, think about those who have worn the Eagle Globe and Anchor who came from Erin to fight for America wearing the uniform of the United States Marines. I certainly will. Semper Fidelis.